I'm James Fernandes. I'll be doing a scene from Speed the Plow by David Mamet. My scene partner is Andrew Icavelli. Lunch at Coventry. That's right. <laughs> Thy will be done. You see, all you have to do is eat my doo-doo for 11 <laughs> years, and eventually the wheel comes round. Payback time. You got me. The Doug Brown script. Glad I could do it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> hey. Charlie, I just hope that... What? I just hope that if the shoe were on the other foot, hey. that I... No, really. That I would act in a really princely way toward you. I know you would, Bob. Because let me tell you, experiences like this, films like this, these are the films. Yes. These are the films that, what do you call it, make everything worthwhile. I think you're going to find a lot of things worthwhile <laughs> now. I'd say you and me, we split minimally 10%. Of the net. Charlie, allow me to tell you two things that I've learned in the entertainment industry. What? Two things that are always true. One. There is no net. Yeah. And I forgot the second one. <laughs> Okay, I'll meet you at half an hour at the Coventry. We can talk about boys and clothes. <laughs> what are you going to do in the interim? I think I'm going to work. Work? <laughs> You've never done a day's work in your life. Ooh, ooh, the pitching <laughs> lamp is lit. You've never done a fucking day's work in your life. That true? Eleven years I've known you. You're either scheming or you're zigging and zagging. I know you, Bob. Oh, yes, the scorn of the impotent. I know you, Bob. I know you from the back. I know what you're saying. You do? Yeah. What? You're staying to put the moves on your new secretary. I am. Yeah. And it will not work. And it will not work. What are you saying? No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to. I'm just saying she She wouldn't, she go, wouldn't for go for you. Why? Why? I don't know. Tell me what you see. Well, I think, you know, I. You serious? Yeah. I don't want to rain on your parade. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm sorry. I, I took the edge off. I it. wasn't going to hit on her. Mm. I was gonna. You were gonna work. Yes. Yeah. No, but really, what do you see? What do I see? No, it's what I saw. It's just an observation. Yes. Well, you know, I just thought that she. I thought that she falls between two stools. <laughs> and what would those stools be? You know that she's not some, some floozy. A floozy. On the other hand, I think that I would have to say that I don't think that she's so ambitious that she would fuck you just to get ahead. That's all. What if she liked me? What if she liked you? Yes. Uh. <laughs> um. Yes? You're saying what if she liked you? Nobody loves me for myself? No. No. Not in this office. So, you're saying she's not vacant enough, nor ambitious oh, I'm enough. I'm not saying that you don't deserve it. You deserve it. Hey, I think you're worth it. Thank you. So you're saying she's not dumb enough, nor vacant enough, nor ambitious enough to want to go to bed with me. She's too, uh, she's too... She's too high line? No, no, no. She's too... She's, she's too... too... Yeah. So what is she doing working in this office? She's a temporary worker. I think you're full of it, Chuck. Maybe. And you know, I, I didn't mean to take the shine off of No, that. no, no. He sends you the cross. He sends you the strength to bear it. Go to, go to lunch. I'll meet you in a half an hour. I didn't mean to imply. Imply? No, no. Nobody loves me. Nobody loves me for myself. Don't go moping around here. You got the Douglas Brown film. Fox and Ghoul! You're very kind. No! You got the film! Fox and Ghoul present! See you at lunch. But I think she would. I think she would go out with me. I'm sure she would. No, no. I think she likes me. I'm sure she does. No. Joking apart, babe. My perceptions? You think I'm nuts? I don't think so. She likes me, and she'd go out with me. How much? How much? Seriously? Yeah. That she'd go out with me? That she would anything. That she would anything. That she would deal with you in any other than a professional way. Well. My, 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 my. Well, what can I say, Bob? That she'd go on a date with me. That she'd go back to my house. That she'd screw me. I don't think so. How much? Hundred. One hundred, that's enough. Five hundred, thank you. Five hundred, that's enough? 
gentleman's bet. Done. Now get out of here. I'll meet you at the Coventry at one. I need to get to work. I also need the script, the budget, the chain of ownership. Good. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Fuck you. <laughs>